This video is for entertainment purposes. I am not an exterminator nor work in pest control. This is not a sponsored video. This is just a video of me sharing with you what I did to take control of a termite problem. You assume all risks if you attempt to do any of the things in these videos. Use at your own risk. Hi, I'm Bobby, and I've been dealing with something that has been driving me crazy, and it's pests. And these pests are small, and come in colonies and they love to eat your house. And what I'm talking about are termites. Now in the United States, there are three common types of termites. The Eastern Subterranean, the Formosan termite, and the Drywood termite. Now these Eastern Subterranean and the Formosan termites, they require going back into the ground for moisture. They require traveling back and forth. So when you have those issues, you gotta get to it from the source and block them from coming in and out of the house and into the earth because they travel in these tubes that they create and they go underground and then back and forth they go while they spread their colony throughout your house, eating your house apart. And the worst of the bunch that come out from under the ground and travel back and forth are the Formosan termites. And of course the drywood termites, they can be very hard to get rid of. Sometimes you gotta fumigate your house and tent it just to get rid of them because they don't even have to go outside and go back under the ground. They can just stay in your house and live in your house without having to exit. So what I've been dealing with was the Eastern subterranean termites that have been eaten at the house that I had just sold over a month ago. And why would that be my problem? Because when I sold my house, I sold it as a rent to own option for the buyer. So this was a one year lease purchase agreement. Technically I am the landlord and the buyer is a tenant until the terms of the lease is up and the transfer of the name of the house is into their name. Other than that, I have to take on those responsibilities. So dealing with these kinds of things, is something that I have to do. And I took a long trip to go back to this house so that I can take care of it myself because hiring an exterminator is very costly. But it's recommended for someone who doesn't want to take on that task because they are very hard to get rid of. I would suggest seeking out a professional to do that if you have the money. But in my case, I decided to do it myself. So here's what I've been doing to get rid of these termites and make sure they do not come back. And it cost me under $200. Getting up tomorrow early to leave the hotel and do the thing I gotta do. Well, I'm gonna go for my walk and then uh, I'm gonna leave here. So that's what my plans are. Well, I got a little place to, to hang out here and then uh, you do a little grilling. So it's, it's a cool little place just to uh, barbecue something. But I did some meal prep and did my meal prep. Now I'm gonna stick it in the microwave. That's how you do it. See, now I don't have to starve when I'm over here in this place. It's been an interesting drive. I got about another hour to go. You know, it's about a four hour drive from the hotel I just left. And, uh, Gotta get this stuff done today. I have arrived. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe I'm here. But I got something under this bag, which I'm gonna need. And that is safety glasses. And of course I'll be wearing a mask. So, you know, in areas where I feel the risk of potential splash in my face, putting these on. All right, so I made it here. I gotta walk around the property here. Just do an assessment. I gotta apply this in different parts of the house here because there's some areas that are on the floor, like right here. There's some big holes that gotta get filled. There's all kinds of holes everywhere, so. Gotta fill them because there's bugs coming out of them. So I'm gonna use this stuff right there. All right, so I've been applying this and uh, just gonna go look around and see if there's any other big holes anywhere so I can put this in there. I figured I'd just go ahead and go in here first and do the stuff in the house while I have a chance, then go outside and do all the digging and everything. Cause uh, I wanted to do that while they're not here cause they didn't want to be here while I was just putting all this stuff in there. They just, something about them and chemicals they just don't want to do with it so they're not going to be back until late tonight so i'm going to try to get all this done and uh, hopefully hopefully between this and the uh tourist sc that i got 
this is gonna get rid of the problem. I'm hoping, I am hoping. All right, here's another issue right there. It's been looking around. So that's gonna have to get filled with this. So just put that in there like that and then press this button. All right, now see how it's seeping through all there? Let it do that. Stuff expands. Let's check it all over the place. You know? There we go. I got this here to, to help lift up. Back in here if I have to lift anything up. I have this measured out, so I'm going to be pouring that in here. And it's like I got a little bit on the there, so I'm going to have to get some water in here. A little bit. Of That's what happens when I'm trying to record something and do something at the same time. Right in there, there's the, the cracks. So I'm gonna be filling in those cracks right there. going to go around the whole pruner. Getting right in here as well. Another place I'm gonna fill in is the cracks back kickers. They're pretty big. So I can fill those in and uh, yeah, hopefully that'll help. Cause some people have to drill. Now I, 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 don't, I don't have any drill bits right now. And I don't know if they're gonna to be too happy about me doing that. stream's not as strong, so we get more in the whole crack there and less on the outside of the crack. And we're just gonna do this all along the perimeter here. I'm gonna fill in the cracks like these right here. Cause you got a little hole there, so letting that soak in there. Right in here, I try to get into the frame of this. Uh, you never know where they can be hiding. Just go all the way around the door frame there. I noticed there's a hole right in there, so I need to get some of that in there. Might also get the other foam as well and get that uh, Termidor foam in there and fill that in. Now I'm gonna apply this Termidor foam into that hole there. This stuff expands so I'm able to get in there and it will travel into the door frame.
There we go. So it worked its way down in there. All right, here are some of the other issues which have to be addressed and it's in the window, so. Right in there. There was bugs that were getting in here. So uh, I just gotta do something about that as well. So that, you know, there is no, no problems. We don't, I just wanna leave here knowing that I got everything done the way it's supposed to be done. Oh. on this rerouting this out this way because that was because that was causing a water to build up over here so doing this as well and got that straightened out gotta go all the way around here I dig that all and of course in here gotta spray stuff in here It's got to get done here. So that's what I'm doing right now. Trying to get that done there. It's a lot to do. But this is what I've been doing so far, you know, digging the trench there. You know, I got this stuff right here that I gotta use. Put it in the bucket there. I just trench it around there. So trying to get all this done here. So I'm gonna start pouring this stuff right here. Digging some more trench in there. So I gotta fill that stuff in there. So I gotta take this stuff and measure it out. I gotta use this and get this measured out according to the uh, manufacturer's instructions. So I'm gonna start this. I don't have a camera person. It's just me and my iPhone. And I don't wanna use my big camera and draw too much attention around here and make it more awkward than it already is. So let me start to uh, mix this here. I'm gonna pour it in here. Now this is not a how-to video. This is just me showing you what I'm doing. You know, just trying to show you what I am doing to help take care of this situation. So that's what this is all about right now. So let me continue mixing this stuff up. I have to be very careful. I don't want to be distracted by this, you know, phone. I've been mixing this stuff, so now I gotta start to pour it in this uh, trench there. I dug a trench that was six inches deep by six inches wide and 10 feet long, and I poured four gallons of this Taurus SC. So I'm letting it fill in here. Got to keep pouring some more. All right, so letting that just soak in there. That's what I'm doing right now. And then I'll fill it back in and then spray over top of it. So that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully this will take care of the problem. And everything will be much better. I don't need complicated. Something I'm trying to avoid. I got to... Do this side now, so it's a lot to lot to work on here. Got to get all in here, and all up in, up in here, all through here. All that's got to get done. All this, a lot, a lot of pouring, a lot of stuff. It's got to get done right here. Once again, mixing this stuff up. A 
almost out too. Still got more to go. Getting all this done here. Finally got it all done. All filled in. I went all the way around the house, the whole entire perimeter of the house, got it all done, poured the stuff, filled it back in, and uh, that's it. I'm gonna be hitting the road. I packed me enough food for two hotel night stays, so uh, did my meal prep, did that before I even left, so we'll have enough. So I'm gonna just end up staying at a hotel again. I, like I said, I just driving straight through. If I have to drive more than seven hours, I'm not, I'm not driving straight through. I'm gonna be stopping, that's just the way it is. But uh, let me go ahead and, uh, what the heck was that? All right, I gotta go. I'm also going over where I had dug and filled it back in. I'm just gonna go over this so that all the soil is, has it in there. It's gonna go all the way here, there. I also sprayed all in here before I filled it in with this sealant. Got foam in there as well. Spray through here. You know, sprayed around the doors here. So did a lot of that. So this stuff really works good. So these buggers should not be coming back here. And I don't have to worry about coming all the way over here again because just wanna move on. All right, so I applied this sealant about 45 minutes ago. Before I applied it, I had pre-sprayed it in the cracks, wait till it dried. Then I went ahead and just sprayed over it after it was able to be sprayed over. Because about 30 minutes later, you can get this wet, so did that and I got to continue on with uh, filling in the trenches with the dirt because I dug them and filled them up and just letting the stuff soak in there so that's pretty much that right there so getting close to getting finished with all this gonna do a little spraying back in here as well just to make sure nothing to you know gets on the wood there Just doing a visual inspection in here. Checking all the wood, make sure there's no issues here. I'm gonna go all through here. Well, there we have it. Did all this stuff, got it done. It is now, this is the time. Let's see what we got here. 3.47 p.m. And I am done. It's Saturday the 11th, 3.47. And this is how much stuff I got left. I used all these chemicals here, sprayed around with this stuff. It's all done, so I am done. Gotta love meal prep. Look at that. This is so good. Oh yeah. This is what I got for the ride back home tomorrow morning because I'm leaving at 5 a.m. and this is my cereal. I do not eat hotel stuff. So this is on the go cereal and my oranges for my vitamin C. So that's what I got for the road right there. Mm -mm -mm. Good stuff. It feels so good to be back here. I just ate something. I'm going to be hopping in the shower in a little bit. I'm just glad that I do my meal prepping. Otherwise, you know, I'd, I'd have to go somewhere to get food or have something cold. But uh, I do feel like I got a lot done today with the whole, you know, termite situation and ant situation. I was digging all those trenches around the perimeter of the house, pouring in the Taurus SC, and then 
going around spraying and then going inside spraying the foam the termidor foam and then the other stuff and i don't know i just feel confident this is going to solve the problem now this is not an instant fix you know this is something that works over time especially the taurus sc that i applied this is not like it's going to like make the termites disappear overnight it's one of those gradual things where it slowly just eliminates the colony. It just slowly poisons them. You know what I mean? And uh, there's that barrier now. So hopefully that'll take care of the issue. Because, you know, termites don't belong eating people's houses. They belong in the woods eating old rotten wood, not people's houses, right? So when they cross that line, you got to do something to stop it. But uh, it's been I feel like it's been very productive, you know, visit there doing what I had to do and I feel like you know I did a good thing as far as financial decision I feel like that was the best decision it saved me a lot of money because it would have been like $1,300 or $1,600 to have somebody go over there and do that stuff and uh, I don't know I, I, I could I could pretty much feel like I just feel comfortable now I feel like the problem is is no longer going to keep me up at night because I've been stressed about this I've been stressed. You're like, I sold the house. I didn't want to have any complications. You know what I mean? And I did learn a lesson. And that is never do a rent to own agreement with anybody ever again. If I am ever in a situation where I got to sell a house. If I got to sell my house, I'm not doing that again. No lease purchase agreements. Straight out. That's it. Don't need no, no obligations as a freaking landlord kind of thing for the terminal lease. I don't need that anymore. So uh, lesson learned. I got about an hour left to go and then I'm going to be home. Some idiot just slammed on the brakes in front of me. So I think all the chemicals probably spilled in the trunks. So and now I got to pull over here and uh, check them. I'm so close to home right now. Look what happened here. All this stuff. Slam on the brakes, flying there. I got to go check in the trunk now. All right, well, the only thing I can think is this probably, that probably would rolled up there and banged up there because this I have like strapped in with this right here and this is velcro so this sticks there so this kind of webs in there but this is where I have all the chemicals in this bucket here so I don't see you know, it's pretty much in the bag and it's like I said this is a pretty thick cable that rolled and scared me I thought just like knocked over because this stuff I don't know what if it starts leaking into the Tesla but we're good so now uh gotta get Continuing. I've only got a little bit to go. Holy moly, there's so many people. Like, there's so many cars that go down this road here. I'm about 30 minutes away from the house right now. People driving like crazy around here. Like, what the heck? It's uh, Sunday. Sunday what? September 12th, 2021. Well, how come I don't even remember what day of the week it is? Yesterday, ah, uh, maybe it, maybe those chemicals that I was using, maybe, it got, <laughs> maybe it got to my head. Yeah, and I got the hat on too. Maybe the hair color is getting to my brain, or the chemicals. I'm not sure what it is. Finally made it back. Termite situation. I feel is addressed right now. When I left the hotel, it was like five in the morning when I left. All right, well, I'm gonna start my walk because I need to get some exercise after driving and stopping at the Tesla stuff and, oh man, it's about like six hours from the hotel. Feels so good to walk. It was like six hours of driving. Then I had to stop for charging, you know, so that all adds up. And uh, right now it's Sunday. September 12th, 2021. Could be a friendly squirrel. Right there. Where'd he go? Whoa, look at that. I want to fall on that right there, huh? I hurt a little. Could be some gators back here.
So you got the highway over there. 